This is a video to show you the Whistler Motoglow helmet lighting system. This is this black unit here that is adhesive, sticks on the back of your helmet and has 10 powerful LED lights, a battery pack and a wireless receiver. The other side of the unit is a wireless transmitter that is installed on your motorcycle. The Whistler system goes into standby and pretty much turns off if there's no motion so as to save the battery. You don't actually have to turn this unit on and off. Um, the transmitter in the bike turns on and seeks this unit uh, whenever you turn on the ignition. I'm going to turn on the ignition. The Whistler unit uh, does not turn on until the helmet's been moved. It needs to be rocked around a little. Now the unit is on and it is currently in standard running mode, which is with the red running lights, basically your helmet's tail lights, permanently on. If you brake, it does a short animated animation, short modulation, and then stays on at a higher intensity than your running lights, like normal brake lights would do, until you release. You release, turns off, and then goes back to running mode. When you use the indicators, the red lights change to amber, and the other side stays on. Nope, the other side turns off. And in emergency mode, emergency light mode, I'm gonna turn on the emergency lights on my bike. Both sides flash. Now that beeping you can hear has nothing to do with the whistler or its transmitter. Uh, that's a different device I have on my bike. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to change the running light mode. And to do that, what you do is you turn the indicator three times in a quick sequence. And now, as you can see, it's got the running lights are off and they just function as brake lights. When you release the brake, they turn back off again. Now I'm going to switch it to another mode. Now it's in basically modulated running lights, basically um, with your ignition on and while you're riding, these little LEDs, they just go on and off as you ride. When you brake, they change speed and work as a regular brake light. Release the brakes and it goes back to modulation. The indicators work as, uh, as in any other mode. One nice thing about the emergency lights these here, if I activate the emergency lights on my bike, not only does the helmet flash, but the system has a pretty good range. So if you were to pull over to stop and help someone, and you activate your emergency lights on the bike, the emergency lights on the helmet will function. Even if you step off the bike and walk over to assist somebody that might be, you know, in an, in, out in the dark. So there you have it. Oh, one more thing. Uh, there is a way to turn the unit off, which you'd want to do if you're going to do a long daylight drive in direct sun where these uh, lights would be somewhat overpowered by sunlight. Or if you have a passenger behind you and you don't want to be flashing bright lights and indicators in their face. So to do that, you pull the handbrake and switch the indicator three times. 
And as you can see now, the unit's completely powered off. Now I will turn off the ignition. Wait a beat. And turn it back on. As you can see, the unit remains turned off. So if you're going to do a few stops, you don't have to turn the thing on and off. Uh, you don't have to turn it off again and again. Basically, as long as you're doing your two up ride, uh, you're good to go. When you want to turn it back on again, you just do the same procedure as before. Pull the handbrake and switch the indicator three times within a brief period. And the unit comes back on again. And it comes back on again in the mode that it was last used in. And there you have it. 